Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. Let's get down to this situation and talk about Method Man's wife, Tamika Smith, addressing Wendy Williams and all the allegations what Wendy has been doing for years to Method Man and Tamika Smith, allegedly. But let's listen to Wendy Williams recently describe her encounter one night stand with Method Man. And this is what made Tamika say, you know what? I got to say something. It's about time. People... And I, I said to him, I guess I batted my eyes and, you know, rocked my shoulders, you know how I do. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> and I said, um, I said, you know, you want to come over? And he said, yeah, I'll follow you. And I said, give me your hand. And I grabbed his hand and, and he, he put his head down and I put my head down and people didn't even realize at the time it was Wendy and one of the biggest stars, the lead of, of the leader of the biggest group in the world mm -hmm. just left, got in her Pathfinder and went back to her penthouse in Jersey wow. City, where she bathed him in her jacuzzi tub. Wow. And and smoked more um, weed. You know, that was back in the Coke days. I don't remember what he did. I'm not gonna implicate him on that. Um, um, I did get- I don't him know if I'm asking too much, but you know, was it did you guys go all the way yeah island with the whole mm, mm, mm. so you know method man's wife she had to respond to the situation because she is tired of being harassed by wendy williams and tamika smith I have been silent while Wendy Williams has launched a verbal attack campaign against myself, my husband. I have ignored her lies in the past. Wendy's obsessed with our lives has reached a new low. Wendy tried to increase her ratings for her show, her biopic, her struggling TV show, her burnt out career. And when I was diagnosed with cancer years ago, Wendy shared my personal medical information while live on air doing a broadcast, violating my rights to privacy. I have not told my family or my friends yet. And Wendy Williams never apologized or ever had any regrets. I understand now it is clear that she is sick and struggling through a lot of issues of self-hate and low self-esteem. And these issues has made her ugly inside and out. Plastic surgery cannot fix ugliness. Wendy has not uplift women. She has attacked me. She has attacked marriages, but her own marriage fell apart and she criticized people. She criticized celebrities for their battles with addiction despite her own substance abuse. And there's no level, there's no limit how low she will go just to make headlines. Her career is on life support. Her husband has abandoned her. Ratings for all her projects have fell down or below. And she is desperate for attention. She used my husband for popularity to get ratings and also to trend and make headlines as well. Now she is just trying to attack my family. Wendy Williams was once revered. Wendy Williams has been reduced to just a tabloid, a circus freak. Our marriage is solid. Tamika Smith did not deny the allegations that Wendy Williams made towards Method Man that they had an affair, that they had a one night stand, that Method Man went to her house and he got washed down in a jacuzzi tub. So what do you guys think about that situation? She did call Wendy Williams a liar and said Wendy Williams has been spreading lies about her and Method Man, but she did not say that Method Man did not sleep with Wendy Williams at all. So what's going on with that situation? And then if Method Man would have kept his bun zipped up, he would have been all right. Now he has to deal with Wendy Williams for life. Wow, Tamika Smith, she really went in. It seems like she was very upset with Wendy Williams and she was holding a lot in for a long time. She wanted to take the high road, but I guess recently, as of yesterday, she wanted to take the low road and go in and throw blows at Wendy Williams. I was like, damn. You know, every time she hears a story about Wendy and Method Man, it brings back memories because Method Man may have allegedly cheated on his wife and cheated on Tamika Smith with Wendy Williams. And each time that Wendy wants to talk about Method Man and bring up whatever 
went on between them two and talk about it in great detail and laugh and joke about it. You know, it must hurt Tamika and Method Man. Not as though that is going to break up their marriage, but it can bring back the pain of what went on back then. And also, you know, they can't tell Wendy Williams what to do or what to say. She's going to say what she want, when she want, and how she want to say it. And especially back then with Wendy Williams exposing, you know, Method Man's wife, medical diagnosed and you know telling the world that she has cancer that is really low that is messed up but you know wendy williams back then on the radio was off the chain none of us would want anybody to you know tell our medical records to anybody there are laws to stop that from happening but wendy williams at that time did what she wanted to do mm -mm -mm. And you would think Wendy Williams will have some type of empathy for Method Man's wife because when Wendy talks about Method Man, she's talking about Tamika Smith, you know, husband, Method Man cheating on her. And Wendy recently was cheated on and her husband left her for allegedly, you know, Sharina Hudson, but really Wendy said that she left him, but she was in pain. She was crying. She lost it. You know, she had to do a whole lot of self-help to get to where she's at now, back from that horrific situation where AKA Kevin Hunter, AKA Calvin Hunter, but Wendy Williams is no hold bar. And if you have involvement with Wendy Williams and she chooses to tell the story and you are a part of her life and her story, she is going to tell it whether you like it or not. Do you guys think Wendy Williams go too low? You guys let me know what you think about that situation. And also, do you think her career is failing? Do you think that, you know, she's losing ratings? Do you think her biopic and her movie didn't do the numbers? Because this is what, you know, Method Man's wife, Tamika Smith, is alleging, you know? So you guys tell me what you think about the situation. But let's move on from that. And get to the situation about, you know, Wendy Williams, you know, movie, um, and, you know, she talked about being with Eric B, you know. And so Eric B, he posted to Instagram that, damn, I needed a rental. And so basically he showed that he had a car with his name's on a license plate. He had vanity plates. He was out here. He had gold chains on. He had gold rings on. And he got this car. And so basically he is denying that Wendy Williams rented him a car and, and he ruined Wendy Williams credit. So who do you believe? Do you believe Wendy Williams is telling the truth about Mr. Eric B that he basically took her car and bounced and disappeared. And basically she had to owe the rental company and there was a warrant out for her arrest if she didn't pay or get the rental car returned. And was Eric B out here using her because Wendy Williams is alleging that, you know, Eric B was a bum. He needed her car to get back and forth. He didn't have transportation. So what do you guys think about this situation? Let me know. Peace and love to my peeps and my peoples. Mm, mm, mm.